Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this satisfying loop with geometry nodes. So let's get started. First let's add a plane and go to geometry nodes and click on new. Add a triangulate node and let's put that here. We also need a split edges node and put that here. Now add a scale elements node, set the scale to 0.55. Now add a subdivide node and set the level to 6. To extrude this let's add an extrude mesh node and put that here. Add a mix node and let's plug the result into the selection here, here and into the offset scale. Add a musgrave texture and let's duplicate it. Plug this head into A and this one into B. Set both of them to 4D. Now open the timeline and make sure you're on frame 1. Set the factor to 0 and keyframe it. Set this W to minus 0.25 and keyframe it and this one to 0.25 and keyframe it. I'm going to set the end frame to 100 and go to frame 101. Set the factor to 1 and here this W let's set that to 0.25 and keyframe it and this one to minus 0.25. I'm doing this so that it loops properly. Select these three nodes here and make sure the plane is selected as well and press A and T and select linear. Add a map range node and put that here. Now let's set the from minimum to minus 0.53 and the from maximum to 6. Add a set shade smooth node and a set material node and go to the material properties and click on new. Now select the material here, add a joint geometry node and put that here. Now plug the geometry into the geometry here. Save now and add a subdivision surface node. Put that here. I'm going to set the level to 4, but you can also set it to 3. Set the edge crease to 0.4. Save again and go to shading. In the world properties, go to color and click on disconnect and make it black. By the way, I recommend that you use cyclists for this. Add an ambient occlusion node and control shift click on it. Go back to layout node. Press delete on the numpad and 1 and now 6 free times and 8 free times. Add a camera and press ctrl or 0, press 3 and set and move it down and now press 3 and set twice and move it in. Add an empty plane axis and I'm going to position it around here. Select the camera and go to the object data properties, enable depth of field and select the empty. Set the f-stop to 1 and the blades to 16. In the render properties set the max samples to 256 and if you want to you can go to color management and set the view transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. If you're using cycles go to compositing, enable use nodes, Add a denoise node set to accurate and enable denoising data. Go to the output properties and select the frame rate that you want. I'm going to set it to 30. Select an output folder. Set the file format to JPEG and the quality to 100%. Save again. To speed up the render you can also go to the render properties. Go to performance and enable persistent data. Be careful with this because it can use a lot of memory. In case Blender crashes while rendering you can go to render and enable lock interface. Save again and press Ctrl F12. Once it's done rendering close this window and go to video editing. Go to frame 1. Go to the render properties and go to color management if you changed this earlier and set it to none and standard. Now here let's hit shift A image sequence and go to the folder where you have the images, press A and enter. Set the file format to FFmpeg video, the encoding container to MPEG4 and the output quality to high quality. Save again and press Ctrl F12. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you like this tutorial then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.